<laughs> Sorry, I'm super dirty. Is that dirty? That's not tattoos. I thought. No, were. no. Yeah. I, I go. I was gonna ask you what what are those? Are they you're trying to do um, isopods and uh, isopods and crawling and crawling up your leg? My name is Anna Chiara Barta. I'm a doctoral student at the Natural History Museum of Vienna and the University of Vienna. I study uh, Pericarida, this is a group of crustaceans, and I do molecular phylogeny. So I look at the DNA of the animals and compare them, and then try to figure out their ancestry or um, things about their evolution. First, I did not know much about Pericarids, but now, as, is, as always is with science, the more you know about something, uh, the more you get to love it and the more excited you get about it. I think they're understudied, there's not much that uh, is known about them and uh, that's what's more exciting for me, to discover the things that uh, people might not be aware of. They're very tiny, uh, so um, um, it's harder to find them and to see them even. I have mainly worked on isopods, uh, specifically terrestrial isopods in Austria. They are everywhere. I used a piece of their DNA as a kind of a barcode to identify them. So with the DNA, I could then spot what species I'm looking at right now. And with that, I got um, like an understanding of what species are present in Austria. Something that we're all very aware of is climate change. And uh, what people might not be very aware of is that uh, also uh, biodiversity is declining rapidly. We should be worried that species might become extinct before we can even find them. My research would contribute to this as in um, a more uh, molecular or genetic way. Sometimes species are very diverse in their genetics but they look very similar and only with molecular tools you can find that they are different species and then this probably gives you um, a way to find out more about their biology. You also cannot um, only take DNA if you want to do phylogeny, you should also look at different aspects and that's why we need a well-rounded team of different scientists with different expertise uh, to really know what we're doing.